Greetings everyone, I am Sergio Sanetis Kefalidis. I am one of the three Google Summer of Code students that XFC selected for this year's Google Summer of Code and we are all working on improving XFC in various ways. I and I will butcher the name and I'm very sorry and this guy right here, should I try to pronounce it Yongcha Huang? Yongcha Huang, Zwang, Yongcha, Yongcha, ah, something, something, I don't know. Uh, but credit where credit is due, he's working on various improvements, as you can see. And I'm also working on Thuner. Alex is our mentor. And there is another guy, uh, Visal, I think is his name. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't seem to have added his blogs here, and he's also working on some other things, like some skeleton project things. I'm not really sure. So today, uh, I'll show you uh, four new features in Thuner. Um, I, I promise to show you these things uh, on the 23rd of June, as you can see right here. Uh, actually, I recorded the video on the 23rd, late in the night and uh, the encoding was incorrect and there was also a problem with my virtual machine and everything went wrong so i said well just throw that out so i have a new video right here and i'd also like to show you a fifth thing which is like the most uh, interesting and unique of them all but unfortunately I, I'll, I'll tell you in the end okay so let's start first of all support for gtk recent so in other words not here right here clear okay sooner in other words um, if you go here you can see a new location browse recently used files right now it's empty because i emptied it so if you go in test and it's, it's a feature that many other file managers have either in linux or on windows i don't know for macintosh but probably there too uh, where like I create a file, like new empty file, yeah. And I'm like, if I open it with Gedit, uh, it would be added. So, but let's open it with Visual Studio Code, right? A, a, a file manager that is not only for Linux. So, okay, I opened it. I did my thing, save, great. And now if I go here, it's right here. I can double click and open it right here. Pretty neat. It's very useful and Thuner was missing that. You can also right click here and remove it. It also works fine. So it's a very nice and neat little feature to help you navigate your file system. It was actually one of my most wanted features of Thuner, so I'm very glad that I implemented it. And now Thuner is not lagging behind because most other file managers have that. So uh, I, I don't know if there's anything else interesting yet for this thing no that that's it that's pretty much it you just add things you can remove things you can open them that's it mm, you used to be able to access it by typing the address in the bar right here but the files would appear locked if you try to open them there would be like very a hash of something it wouldn't work so now it works and the important thing is that it supports uh, it, it adds files to recent no matter the editor or program, whatever, that you open them with. Because GTK pro uh, pro uh, programs from the GNOME project do they do it by themselves, but projects like Visual Studio, uh, programs like Visual Studio Code don't do it. So Thuner takes care of that. Uh, next one. Zoom level as a per directory setting. I believe that I had that enabled already. So remember you settings for its folder. This is an existing option right here. We go to test and we need we need a picture now, don't we? Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get we're gonna get we're gonna get yeah we have any yeah get one from Magica. Okay, we get a Magica picture. Wow, oh yeah, I have create a bunch of files here for testing. Okay, new folder. So we create a new folder right here and we're like, mm, can I not have a second one, please? No, rename. Yeah, okay, I need to create a rename. Okay, 
So I'm gonna have three pictures right here. If this is a picture folder, so I might want to go right in to see the big thumbnails. And if I go in the previous folder, you can see that the size is saved properly. Also, a pretty neat little feature. That is very useful if you want to organize your photo albums and stuff like that. Now, next, restore tabs on restart. Uh, this is uh, pretty unique, I'd say. No, not necessarily unique, but not that many file managers have that. Uh, where tabs can be restored after closing Thunar like they would do in a browser. And there's also a guy... Uh, there was a bug here and this fellow fixed it because some t if you had enabled the particular preference tabs would be reopened in, in the in an incorrect order so let's open uh, no let's inner test folder it's better okay test folder so open a new tab open that too okay, open a new tab okay so now i close sooner okay you see test one two three four five blah, 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 and two okay i close sooner I reopen Thunar and voila! They are right here. It also works with split view. If you go here and you're like, eh, I wanna go one here. Okay, so let me close that. And. Magic. Great. Uh, both of these are in the current master grants, so they will be released on the next development release for sure. Let's see. Uh, all three of these, basically, yeah. Now, the last one is an option to restore and show files from the trust bin. So, let me open sooner once again. Now, this time, we will need to delete something and... Uh, oh, did, we, did, we, did I delete this? No, I did not. Okay, now, delete this. All right, great. Go to the trust, click here. Oh yeah, this is not the correct branch, I'm sorry, this has not been merged, so I need to check it out. Yeah, I believe it's the store and token. I'll need to build that, give it like a minute or something like that. So, the last feature, the last feature that I've been working on, and it's the most unique one, is the is supporting shared thumbnail repositories uh, there is a specification for how thumbnails should be dealt with uh, in freedesktop.org and most file managers if not all of them don't support the part about shared thumbnail repositories what are they uh, imagine that you have like a four terabyte external hard drive and you connect it to different PCs. And as you imagine, creating thumbnails for like two terabytes of pictures, three terabytes of pictures is extremely time consuming, right? Yeah. So that's why the certain thumbnail repositories exist. Yeah, there is the, they're not really supported, so there is not really the option, but there has been some thought put into it. So you would be able to create local thumbnail folders hidden from you and like that every time that you plug your hard disk in a computer the computer does not need to recreate all the thumbnails so you save both time and space in that computer because imagine that you have a system with like five different users that all use the same external hard drive every single one of them would have a copy of the thumbnails that way you don't need to do that so this is something that no file manager that I know of supports and Thunar might very well be the first one or one of the first ones but unfortunately I am not able to show that to you today because um, in the cleanup stage of the code it is done it's working and then in the cleanup stage um, I am a mentor decided to move the shared code between Thunar and Tumblr to the into a library project that uh, XFC uses uh, called libxfc for util, you might have noticed it in your package manager. Uh, the funny thing is that Tumblr doesn't seem to use that, so we moved the, I moved the code there and now it doesn't compile because it can't find the code. So I'm waiting for an answer for uh, as to why... Uh, I'm waiting for an answer 
in regards to what to do with that. I will probably make Tumblr use the cert library. Probably that, because copying and pasting code and having duplicated code is a recipe for disaster. And let's start. Also, excuse me, but I've been talking for so many hours today. I am extremely tired and my throat is sore, so yeah, there is that. And restore, and so, ah, we have the restore option, which is just restoring stuff. You know that, you have used it before. And we have the restore and so option, and if I click that, it opens a new tab and highlights the file. If I do that for multiple files, like delete these two, and I go to a new folder and delete this one and close that, and I select them all, restore and so, select it here, select it here, that's it. Which is a pretty neat feature because if you want to restore a file and you don't know the exact location, you are going to need to you are going to need to search for it, which is time consuming and frustrating. So being able to do that from inside sooner is pretty neat. And yeah, there is that. Hopefully next week or like in 10 days, I will be able to show you the third thumbnail repositories and whatever else I've been working on, which is going to be implementing a, 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 I don't want to speak about the <laughs> final result because I haven't started working on it yet. But the goal is to improve Thunor's search capabilities by a, by a significant margin. So, goodbye for now. I hope that all this was recorded and uh, that my mic was open all this time, which it probably was. Bye bye.